Welcome back to the final part of episode number 235. It's time for us to get into our fantasy league picks, trades, updates, anything else that we need to go about. So, Peyton, what do we need to do here? Well, as we've passed extreme rules, we have officially completed the first session of our new season. One it, whole guys. month passed from extreme rules all the way to payback. So two pay-per-views counted into this session. And this is how the points are sitting at the end of it. Steven Wago's team, AJ Stylezu, still stuck in last place with only a meager 50 points. All that investment into AJ Styles is not working out so well. As much as an investment, as much as a, I want AJ Styles. <laughs> uh, Kaylin Ferris's Brianna's Bitch Tits. Bitch. In fourth place with 139 points. Sizable lead over that last place spot. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, not too far ahead of him, though, is Tony Mango's Tony's Trikes in third place, appropriately, with 149 points. Mm. And that means Drew White's fucking shitheaded twosers are once again fucking shitheaded twosing. In second place, with a narrow margin over Tony Mango's team, 151 points. So, last time I checked here, Kayla was in second place, and he went down to fourth? That's correct. I mean, it's not like a big difference. There's only, uh, what... 13 points separating second and fourth place. Yeah, it's going to be up and down for a while. It's always that case. Like, these first few months don't add up to what we end up with. Mm -hmm. Are the weekly breakdowns on the site yet, or I haven't seen that? Uh, because not, I was, uh, oh, no, I was wondering how many Chick points... Stitcher. Chick Stitcher. <laughs> I was wondering how many points these people are losing me for not being on TV. Uh, you can find them on uh, Mick freaking Duncan. <laughs> Let's see here. Thank God Enzo isn't losing me any more points. I was going to drop him after Extreme Rules. So far, you've only lost five points for Sasha Banks not being on TV. Okay. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, that's better stuff to handle, you know, not in the middle of a show. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to head over to doing trades. The waiver wire reset, which means we go back to whoever's in last has top priority and then on from there. Did we hear your score? What's your score, Mike? Oh, it's a massive 257 points in first place. Whoa. Someone else decided they had to interrupt and ask about, you know, their points, whatever. whatever. <laughs> All right, Wago, any trades that you want to do? <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, Wago is getting rid of AJ Styles for a dying giraffe. <laughs> Wait, they have uh, a dying giraffe on the roster? Yeah. Yes, and Cara. Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> um, Enzo kind of looked like a giraffe at one point. Those spots in his head. His neck uh, certainly got longer after it got up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kalen. Uh, see, Sasha Banks. I wonder if there's any place I could find those points for you. Um, Injury, however. <laughs> actually, Wago's uh, first up, isn't he? I already asked Wago. Yeah, Wago yeah. already passed. Uh, I made a dying giraffe noise, don't you remember? Yeah, uh, he suggested that they should have John Cena face Rusev for the U.S. title on Memorial Day. <laughs> See, that's one thing that I'm thinking, too, because I have Rusev on my team, and he is the champion. But he's probably going to lose it, but I'm still going to risk that. I'm going to keep Rusev. Tempted to drop Sasha Banks, but I'm not going to drop Sasha yet. I still am holding out hope. However, I am going to trade. Uh, nobody has the Miz at the moment, do they? I don't think so. Yeah, you dropped him and he retained. So I'm going to pick him up in place of Epico. Kaylin Ferris picking up the Miz, replacing Epico. Man, you're going to feel real dumb when they introduce that flower-sniffing belt on SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised you're still holding on to Apollo Crews at this point. Uh, I'm holding out hope. Yeah, good luck with that. Tony, you're next. Mm, I am going to stay. Going to stay. That brings it to Drew White, who is not here at the moment. Uh, he said he had some trades, but he didn't tell me what they were, so you're screwed, Drew. Yeah, I don't remember seeing anything about trades. He didn't message me anything, so if he did, sucks to be him. Uh, and that brings it to me, and I think I'm going to hold for now. I have to say, I think I have a really solid team right now, and Darren Young, uh, and I would like to get rid of that weak link, but... I can't think of anyone better to go with right now. So, Darren Young, you're, you're just going to ride our coattails for a little bit longer. 
Uh, so that's going to wrap it up then, unless um, Ferris has another trade you want to do. Nope. Anybody want to trade out for Epico? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. We're going to wrap this up here, guys. As always, for everything, to check out the scores, the rosters, the rules, whatever you want to see, keep it kayfabe.com or wwfantasyleague.com. All right, and that brings uh, the plugs into whatever we're going to do. Uh, can't think of the word there, but yeah, plugs. That's what we're doing. Uh, Wago, go ahead first. All right, you can watch me on the Twitch at Stephen Wago. Follow me on the Twitter at Stephen Wago, and eventually go to StephenWago.com for all your updates. Kalen? You can plug me on the plugs at Kalen Ferris on Twitter. Peyton? Plug it in, plug it in. By tuning in every single Monday night as soon as Raw goes off the air on my Twitch at M-R-P-A-D-E-N. That's Mr. Payton, where we have the new era for the most interactive post-draw experience available, where we have a creative WWE 2K universe where all of you get to create uni- uh, your own stars and stunners, where they're going to be competing for belts and pride and all those other cool things that go on in wrestling promotions. Well, we're all going to make our own little fake thing and be dorks. Join us there Monday. You can make your own guy or gal, and we'll put that together. Aren't you glad that he's saying at the beginning of this? Right. <laughs> My side of plugs are all in the rest hold, everybody. But just a quick recap, go to fanboysanonymous.com for some more things coming your way when it comes to X-Men Apocalypse. That's going to be coming out tomorrow night. And I'm um, sure I'm going to be having at least a minute man review, maybe a review point, maybe some other things as well. And we've got more things coming your way from Smart Out Moment, of course, as well. So follow everything on social media and stay tuned for episode number 236. But even before that, we've got the next round of the 2016 WWE Sexiest Superstars Tournament. So vote while you can. Not much time left before those polls shut off and we find out who goes into the uh, semifinals. But that's it for episode number 235. Thank you all for listening, everybody. This has been another Smart Out Moment, and we're being counted out. Five, two, three. Whoa! No more Cody Rhodes outros! Whoa! Does that, mean, does that mean we can stop doing outros, though? Because he's the one that started it all. <laughs> like, this would be the perfect time to end it, right? Break the cycle. <laughs>